quiet morning, everybody. It actually is like really creepily quiet here. I'm the only one in the house. Today is Monday, September 25th. This is my mama's real birthday day. So happy birthday, mama. <laughs> And it is the late puppy, Monty, our old dog, who lived 13 wonderful years. It was his birthday today, too. He shared the same birthday with my mom. So happy birthday to uh, the late Monty, and happy birthday to mom. I uh, had a lot of fun over the weekend. Thanks, everyone, who came virtually through the internet to the party with us, to the beach and everything. Three sales on eBay and one sale on Etsy, so we're gonna pack those right now. Sold the retro three-pack for a loss of like $18. Gonna get rid of that. It was damaged by Amazon. We're gonna chuck it in a bag and mail it off. Sold a Captain Falcon for $14, I think. And the other one that sold the Columbia PFG. It's actually at my brother Martin's house, so he's gonna ship that off for me. I was kind of freaking out because I was flipping through and I was like, it's not in the closet. Oh, and I was like, oh wait, I listed some stuff at Martin's house. They're in the closet up there. So he's gonna ship that out for me. And the one Etsy sale was a hat and it was this hat. A John, this is actually a really nice hat. It's in very good condition. It's an old John Deere. Just the text embroidered. It's a K Products hat, it's in really good condition. Sold for 22 bucks, shipped. I put this scrap rag under here no brake fluid dripping overnight, but it's good under no pressure. However, I do get a little bit of fluid buildup. I believe it's from my lower cylinder being scored more than the upper one under pressure. I still have, I took this for a spin last night. I still have a front brake. I'd say it's somewhere between 70 and 80% of what it should be. And I get a super slight bottom cylinder leak so i did order another cylinder piston off of ebay for 20 bucks it should be here in a couple days but one thing i did do is i took i took one half of the um the new brake pad off and put the better one half of the old brake pad on the um direction that it was on before which let the piston squeeze out a little bit more past that scored area if that makes any sense they're pressed out a little bit more towards the rotor and it's dripping less than it was when there were two brand new brake pads in there. That has made it even better. I screwed that one up by uh, scoring, by gouging that one piston cylinder with the uh, plier clamps. So you live and you learn, it's only a $20 mistake. I still have braking right now with a slight, slight fluid leak, which diminishes power and also drips brake fluid, but it's not getting on my pads, it's not getting on my rotors, so it's not making the bike not function or slip. It's not enough to do that. So I'm still gonna be able to ride it in the meantime. We're gonna mix it up today. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna try to get back in the gym habit. We're gonna go to the uh, Northport version of my gym and then swing by the Goodwill over there and see if we can find some smalls from the uh, Way and Pay. I got a lot of empty volume in my listing containers, so I'm going to try to uh, put some of that in there so those can get my item count up to sell. I think I'm only at like 150 items right now. So I'm gonna try to get that back up over 200. My room's a mess, we're gonna clean my room today and I'm going to list some stuff on Etsy. That's most of the plan for today. <laughs> I literally pulled over on the side of the road because I could see this in the corner of my eye. There's a spider inside my helmet. I could see it when I was riding and I didn't want that to freak me out when I was driving. So I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Just what I need when I'm riding through traffic is a spider to sink its fangs into my scalp. Terrifying. Use the front brake a little bit. You can see the pitting right there. Getting a little bit of seepage from the pistons on that front brake and it's not contacting the brake pads or the rotor so that's good first time going to this anytime fitness it's in northport it's about 20 minutes scout curated for my body for my goals by mr the one and only bonafide hustler just got through a dragging workout that was tough man once the habit is broken it's so tough to get back in it now we're gonna go to thrift to reward ourselves we did finish the workout 100 percent I know this bike, CM400T. This is a 1980 two-cylinder 400cc motorcycle. I had a CM185T at one point in my life. Mine was from the late 80s. Quick, it's got power, but it also gets really great gas mileage, and it is really light and nimble. So this is a really, really cool bike. Ahead of me is a sidecar motorcycle. Don't see a lot of those. And then this is super sick. That's a Ford, classic Ford car. I don't know what that is, though. The Bargain Barn, also known as the Bins, also known as the Way and Pay. 
Found a couple of good things. So I got an Eagle Creek. It's like a passport bag. It's good for overseas. Eagle Creek's a pretty good brand. This will probably go for like 15 or 20 bucks. We got an Aris modem. So go on eBay for like 35. This is possibly for my van. I'm missing the uh, two rear headrests. And if this fits, that would be great. I'm gonna get that and see what fits. And we're gonna put it all in this vintage LL bean bag. This thing's probably from the 80s or the 70s. Super old LL bean tag. We'll throw it all in there and we'll get out of here. But yeah, also found this camera flash. It's actually pretty modern. I think that fits for a fairly modern Canon. It's a power zoom 5000 AF. We did pretty decent. We're in there for about 20 minutes. I was mostly scraps. I think most of the bins have already been picked over. Goodwill is getting in the holiday spirit. <laughs> this is super creepy. If there's ever a shortage of golf bags in the world, come to the Northport Goodwill. It's a $2 game called Dixit. Never heard of it before. It says made in Germany right there. It's $1.99. Cheapest on Amazon's 50 and it looks to be doing pretty decent on eBay. So we're gonna grab it. I'm not gonna count the pieces here. We're gonna do that at home. It's only $1.99 risk, so we should be good. Found a vintage Ireland high top trucker hat actually in really good condition one little schmutz up there But everything else is beautiful. We also got a Canon 2880. It's not in the greatest of shape It's definitely been dropped or melted right there But everything on it seems to work and this is originally like a 75 80 dollar lens So we'll use this as a beater lens when we get home. That's pretty cool. Happy about that 7777 seven, 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 lucky seven should have done this before thrifting, going to the post office, dropping off packages, making room in my trunk so I wouldn't have to be driving around with a board game strapped to my passenger seat. So much better. Not bad, not bad. Let's get this stuff tested, pieces counted, and listed. My LL Bean bag's actually gotta get washed. It's pretty filthy. Bad buy number one, my lens. I saw the damage on the top, but because it was in the case, I did not see the damage to the bottom. It no longer clamps onto anything because the mounts right here are all broken off. Next, see if all the pieces are here. All right, definitely used. Here's our instructions. One game board, check. 84 cards. One, two, three, four. 53, 54. 56, 57, 63, 84, we are good. 36 voting token in six different colors. 34, 36. Six wooden resale rabbits. Six wooden resale rabbits. We're good, everything's here. The tape covering and price tags have been extracted and it's like a storytelling board game so you get a little creative with it. Probably pretty fun. If my family was here, Today, we would probably play it before I sold it. Okay, can I get a want, want, want? It's restricted, it's gonna be going up on eBay. What are the chances that this fits my van? Is this even a standard or, oh, nope. We get the trombone, it does not fit. All right, can we get a winner, please? Let's get a non-trombone. Let's get a winner. I'm gonna put some batteries in this. Luckily, this is not corroded. I did not check for corrosion at the weigh and pay just because it was so cheap and we have no power. Not good. Maybe I have to put it on the shoe. Maybe I have to put it on the hot shoe to activate it. Maybe the batteries I put in are dead. Oh, we got some action. We, oh, we got some action. All right, this is like not working either. Something's not working in here. This is why you need to test your electronics. There's some loose connections in here. It like doesn't wanna turn on all the time. So I will be putting it up on eBay as is for maybe a little bit lower. I did test it for power. I was able to get it to power on in HV mode, whatever that is. From what I can tell, we'll describe it and we'll put it up on eBay and see what happens. I don't even feel comfortable selling this as is. I might sell it for parts because I can't even get it to flash. It's just blinking. So me and mom are going to Tijuana Flats. They do free dinners for her birthday. I guess you show them your ID. Yeah. And since today, September 25th, is her birthday, we're going to Tijuana Flats for dinner. Okay, so I've been messing with this flash a lot more and it now works. There was one little corroded terminal that I didn't see initially. So we're gonna remove the trombone and make it a cha-ching. Picked up the room a little bit. 
got everything that I bought today listed. It's time I'm going to read some of the compound effect and head to bed if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you have any encouraging comments, I would love to hear them. If you have any questions for tomorrow, Q&A Tuesday, I'll put them in the comment section below. I'll, I'll get to them tomorrow and I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Bye. It actually works pretty good for a dollar flash. I think we could deal with that.